Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. It's Sunday. What does Sunday mean? Super fun Sunday. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be super fun. Um, I, I opted to do a book today as opposed to going through the framed ink more. The reason being one is I kind of established super fun Sundays is, is something that we can enjoy together where it's just like chill. We look at some cool comic book art and um, I felt like like going into more sort of educational material on a super fun Sunday, it's not really what it was about. So I kind of realigned myself this morning and I was like, you know, let's do a book. So I got this, this is the gallery edition, which is one of those big, like off the original art um, books. And uh, it was interesting how I ended up getting this. So I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos of people doing um, sort of book reviews on the different artist editions that IDW puts out and you know got me curious of well What's out there? What are the other books and? Um, you know, I'd always been a good uh, a big fan of Kelly Jones um, when I first started collecting comics and then at some point kind of Years ago it felt like he kind of vanished for a little bit like I'm not sure if he took like a little break from comics or um, pulled back a little bit, but I wasn't seeing his work as much and he could have been doing something for a different company um, but uh, here, I'll start going into the book so we don't uh... and um, You know, but I'd always liked his work and I'm, I'm always fascinated by artists who are a little different than kind of the the norm in comics and Kelly is definitely one of those artists where it's it's dark it's very stylish it's got kind of a horror element to it and he's been able to navigate his whole career kind of doing this not kind of but doing it and i i really respect that because it is not easy when you are a little different than sort of you know a square peg and a round hole kind of thing and um so i find guys like him jay lee um uh, there's many more but i i find them inspiring because i i know how challenging it is man that is beautiful so um i watched a youtube video of a guy go through part of this book and i was blown away it was fantastic the originals look beautiful and it's a big book of the artist editions and again this is called a um gallery edition it is as thick as my Frank Miller um, Hard Goodbye, which is the, the biggest one I have. The Frank Miller Hard Goodbye, the dimensions are a little bit um, taller and wider than this book. Um, but this thing is thick, and it, they are missing some pages. They tried to do full stories, so when they did, look how beautiful that is. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so when they didn't have pages, they um, did, like, stats. You'll see those, and we'll move through those fast. But, but I mean, man, his stuff is just so pretty. It's so graphic, um, and uh, I think this is going to be really, really fun. I've only seen part of this book, too. I've looked through maybe the first 20 or 25 pages. I'll, I'll see if I can remember where we got to. We won't be able to get through this whole book today, but we'll hustle through the pages that are a little less interesting or feel a little redundant, and um, and then we'll go to the stuff that's the the money shots, as they call it. So anyway, really nice piece of vellum here. Covers up the cover, so you get sort of like the, the overlay. Really, really neat. I like when they do that. I think it's just, uh, I mean, lettering and logos on comics, is it's art in itself. It really is. Um, great lettering, great logos. Make things look killer. There's no two ways about it. Um, and then look at this, man. You can just see the originals can see that white ink and even the black like it was a little translucent so the black even shows through a little bit and look he he is, he he knows his style so well he's so confident with it he didn't even have to sign his name who did it you know who kelly jones that's who because he's he's got a unique style it's interesting that face has a tiny bit of uh michael golden to me and uh he um man that face is great you know, I think Wrightson would be um, someone else that, that he's got a nice dash of. And um, there's a few other little things I see in his work. Um, but, uh, but you know, again, his his stuff is very, very iconic. Um, uh, Beatty, I think, inked a lot of this stuff. And he's great. Great inker. This is kinda... Look at the lighting on the legs. Man, that's cool. Real fun, like, effects. He's got some pretty iconic, like, things that he does in his work that I think um, really make it sort of um, Kelly Jones, you know? 
And uh, whoa, look at this. He was a Zipatone. When I first got into comic books, I didn't know what that was. And I thought these guys were putting dots on everything. I was like, man, the control this guy must have to do that. It's insane. But I didn't know. I'm just a guy at home collecting comic books and looking at them. I don't, I don't have any clue what they're doing. I just see what I see. I was trying to crack the code. And I didn't know what was going on. Look at that face. That monster face. So cool. So I hope hope that you guys all think that this is an appropriate super fun Sunday because I think it's going to be awesome again. The Zipatone on there. That's really nice, man. It's a little like Martha Washington goes to war. So this is a stat. This is one that they didn't have the original for, so they used a black and white. Um, I don't know if it was a photocopy or what, but. Um, it happens. I mean, if they want to tell the complete story, then they, they sometimes just, you know, someone bought the original, maybe they vanished, maybe they just don't know who purchased it or where it went, and, you know, it's impossible to track down everything sometimes, you know, unless one collector got the whole thing, which actually, you know, in a way is an advantage, or if the artist has kept the work, um... Walter Simonson, from what I understand, I don't know if it's across the board thing, I think that he has sold a little bit of work, but um, overall, I think that he owns just about everything that he did, the key stuff at least. Um, smart move on his part. That's a, that's a nice retirement fund if he ever wants to chill, drop a cover, live for a couple years. <laughs> Man, that is so nice. Gosh. This dude is so talented. I love that. That's great. Stuff is fairly detailed, you know. It's it's a stripped down style, but but uh, yeah, you know. That's cool. Man, there was I was kind of peeking into the book just to see like where I should start, and I, I wasn't sure if I should start further in. I couldn't remember what the stuff in the beginning of the book was exactly, and I was like, oh, if it's kind of older stuff, maybe we should get to like the really like iconic um, stuff, but. Uh, Man, this stuff is so solid. That's so hard to do and make it look as natural and just the, it, how it fits. Look at the expression on Batman's face, too. Um, yeah, he makes it look easy. You try to draw this, man, you're going to be challenged. It's because it's so chunky. I, I would be curious to see. I've, I actually think after I got the book, I sort of Googled to see if I could find any of his um, pencils just to see, like, does he outline the lines really thick and like is he going in and filling in all the blacks like shading it with pencil I can't remember um, what I uh, found but uh, man that's really cool but yeah he's done a lot of Batman I know he did Dead Man that was another book that he did I was curious to check that out too But yeah, this guy is legit. But there's some stuff coming up that's really cool, so let's we'll scoot to this one a little faster. This uh, this technique that he uses is really, really cool. I, I like circles. He uses that quite a bit in the background. Um, it works well. This is a great panel. Wow. But, you know, uh, talking about the video yesterday, the framed ink, um, consistency, you know, he's got a very, very consistent style. He looks very, very comfortable in this world and telling stories with this look. And that's immersive to me. I actually remember when I very first started collecting comics, um, I was able to get, um, they had like a quarter box at my shop. And so they were just dumping, because it was the image boom, they were dumping all the old like Marvel stuff that they couldn't sell. And I bought a pretty big run of Punisher and uh, Punisher War Journal um, and uh, was was interesting reading them because they, they, they had been out for a while and um, the art team would occasionally change. And what I found was uh, I didn't really care how good or bad the artist drew, but if they had a consistent style and the, the story was immersive, then I, I believed their Punisher. I believed in that character and the way that he looked. And it was actually harder when then a new artist would come on and you would have to acclimate to sort of like their interpretation of the Punisher. And it wasn't so much about who was better or worse, but it really kind of came down to who's, you know, like who whose Punisher did you connect with? Which one, um, 
kind of felt right. You know, one would be a little thinner, one would be a little thicker, and, you know, one maybe had, like, a tougher face, and the other one was more of a pretty boy. And uh, it was really interesting, but it was a, it was a little, a, like, a little bit of a learning experience for me on iKitchen. This is one of the stats. Man, I love that brick wall, how it's, like, got that cur curvilinear sort of uh, feel going on to it. That's really nice. Boy, someone's got a nice original, whoever owns this. <laughs> that vanished. Okay, so let's we'll skip these. These are again stats. It's not so bad. There's quite a few in the beginning of the book, and I, I remember kind of skipping ahead, going like, "Whoa, like how many of these do they use?" But there's tons of original on it. So this is nice. Almost looks like it was maybe photo referenced. It feels a little, feels a little like it could have been. Not a big deal, but just a, you know. And it's not. It's a smart thing to do when you're doing such a graphic style as to actually see how like lighting sort of affects things then he stylizes stuff so much that uh it works and the batman with the real long ears and the the hook nose it's pretty interesting you know it not everyone gets that uh carte blanche to uh do that it's another stat um, this cover is great oh this was the cover so again it's got the the overlay of the um this feels almost like a vellum it's nice though nice paper huh? i bet it would actually be good to ink on <laughs> uh. No, this is great. This is terrific. And you can really see the um, autofocus here for a sec. Yeah, you can really see like the white ink that he used. Man, the candle's great. And the fingers. Yeah, this dude is really awesome. Look at that wrist. The wrist is killer on that hand. Nice signature. It looks like he inked this himself. Real, real nice inks. It works. Again, consistency. It feels comfortable. It feels confident. I don't, I don't really get an impression that he's second guessing anything that he's putting down. And you know, I was actually going to mention that. That's a really, really important thing. So as you all know, I'm obsessed with guitar and, and um, always trying to learn about guitar during the day while I'm working just to kind of mix things up. But uh, the one thing that they talk about all the time is be relaxed when you play. To play the really hard stuff, you've got to be chill. And what happens is I think that even for artists, we tense up when we know we have to do something quote unquote hard or something's going to be harder. And what I think the tipping point for people, and tell me if you feel this way, I don't really worry about the sketches that much. The sketches come out pretty easy. Tightening it up is where I clinch up because that's the quote unquote hard part, making the tougher decisions, committing to which squiggly line that you threw down was the one that worked. That's the tricky part, and that's where you start to define that tree is so cool. Um, and the, the Batmobile is awesome. But uh, yeah, so I think if you could stay as relaxed at that moment when you're deciding what you're keeping and what's going to go. That could be a really, really important sort of mental shift to make because, look, there's artists that are breaking in as professionals and, and there are people that we respect. And believe it or not, they're called upon to draw stuff that they don't know how to draw way more than you would think. And especially if they're in the first, say, like one to five years of their career, you think that that someone that breaks in, they may, might be talented, but... You know, a, a comic script is always going to throw you for a loop. There's always going to be something that's going to be, like, hard, challenging, something that you've never drawn before. And uh, obviously, as you put miles on your uh, page count and stack them up, um, you get more, uh, you're able to acclimate to, like, like the problem solving that would be involved in it. But, um, you know, these guys have to go to the that happy place, that chill zone, and just believe that they can do it and put it down as confidently as possible. And whereas like, okay, look, a pose like this. He may look at this now and go, oh my God, that figure is just wacky. Look at the leg and it looks all weird. But he, at some point, had to have the confidence to finish this drawing and go, that's as good as it's going to get today. I'll try to win that battle next time. And it's not bad by any means, but I mean, I think it it sort of gets the point across is, is um, you know, don't always think that because these guys are drawing stuff professionally and that the stuff is getting published that that everything that they did was easy or that they they felt that that it worked um but you have to have the confidence to finish it and stand behind it is what it is at that moment you know and that's how you get better so hopefully that's a little inspirational gotta have super fun sundays gotta be inspiring visually stimulating Man, that is so awesome. Oh my god, look at this. That's crazy. 
She's really cool looking. Yeah, it's very Michael Golden. I didn't really see it so much gold in this stuff. This is nice too. Man, he just really sums stuff up well. But I'll tell you what, going back to like penciling and inking your own stuff versus having someone else ink it, this stuff would take a long time to ink. The pages themselves, not so much. Filling in the blacks, you got your work cut out, son, son or daughter. It's gonna take time, probably two hours at least to fill in blacks on a page like this. Extra, extra time on the page, if you know what I'm saying. It's like the pencil could go in and outline all those shadows on the face and throw in some X's and get through it pretty quick. But again, they're dealing with layout, so that's where the they stack time that's great man look at that really cool like that kind of weeds or whatever it is the grass that so cool man the zip tone is great right there really really attractive stuff man this guy's so good is this fun are you digging it are you wanting to smash the like maybe you already did smash the like and, you know, check out my Patreon. I, I haven't been plugging it too much lately, but, you know, again, all my Patreon supporters, you are the ones that keep me going on this stuff and committed to it. Today was a tough day to do a video. I'm, I'm a little busy. Um, you know, I got to work today. I've got stuff to do. Um, and, uh, you know, I want to try to work on my own stuff at some point today, too. So, you know, YouTube is work. It takes time. It takes time to shoot the videos. It takes time to upload them, do the description and all that stuff. So check out the Patreon if you can. Tip a dollar at some point. Um, I would really appreciate it. And uh, I have four videos that I've done only for Patreon. And uh, there'll be another one coming soon. I'll, I'll probably do one this week. It looks like Dead Man a little bit. Man, that's nice. His Batmobile is cool. It's like old school. And even that he draws well. Like, you know, I mean, feet aren't the hardest thing in the world to draw, but feet and hands are definitely, like, there's a learning curve to him. But uh, it just everything fits in his world. Do you see that? He understands this language so well. He's so confident. Oh, looks like Sulu. <laughs> um, yeah, he just, he's got this down. Can we skip this page? It's nice, but there's some stuff that I saw coming up that was really wild I right, so we've seen stuff like this a little bit of a John Romita Jr. kind of vibe vice versa this is nice wow. you can see that zip tone on there it's kind of uh, changed color over the years which it can do it can yellow and get all kinds of weird ways you have this guy wait till you see there's a shot of this dude coming up I think it was him that's really cool but like I love that figure that's great in the background like he's got that arced perspective Scott McDaniel used to do a lot of that. I don't know where that guy went, but there was a penciler named Scott McDaniel that did like Nightwing. Yeah, this stuff is cool. Um, man, well, this is a great page. That's a tough shot to pull off. He probably used photo re reference for that, but it works. And it's a great angle. Man, that's really cool too. Look at that. Oh, the lighting on that is so cool. Damn, this guy is boss. Yeah. Beatty did such great inks on this stuff, too. The guy's a stud. That's really cool. Yeah, they're a perfect, perfect match. I think the inker is John Beatty, if I remember correctly. I hope I got that right. These are stats. One of the things. Oh, man, look at this. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know if that's Alfred, but it's pretty funny. Skisha, Kisha, Kish. <laughs> the letterer had fun on that one, apparently. Her eyes. Okay, these are stats. Oh, man, look at this cover. Dude, that is so cool. Man, God, look at that. That is so cool. This guy is so awesome. But you see why, like, when I walk... When I watched the YouTube video of this, I was like, man, I need this. This is like, I think it's about a hundred bucks, but it's worth it, man. This is just so cool. I'm learning all the time, man. It's, it's been a really exciting, like the last like year and a half has been really, really good. Challenging at times, but I really think that there's a lot of progress being made. Um, yeah, that's really, really it's interesting to that hand fully white the temptation to put shadow on that would would have been immense for me but yet he left it open and it works it's, it reads well in front of the figure 
even though it's white on white. Man, the guy in the background is sick. <laughs> the cape is so crazy. Okay, so again, this is that. Nice page, though. Really cool lettering on it, too. Todd Klein, it said, give him some love. All right, these are all stats, so I'm just going to go through them real quick. It said, this book is so thick, we're not even probably one-tenth of the way through it, so. No biggie. I'm going to try to find some points of interest. That's a nice panel. <laughs> really, really cool interior shot. And again, what's great about this is, is, look, he chose not to put a ton of shadow in this area. You see that? Like, this panel, he went like, you know what, I can let up on it. And then yet, right when he gets back into the characters, he's got her actually very dramatically lit. She's very illuminated. Um, a little stat action here, if you can see it. This editor maybe didn't like the face or something. And, uh, and that's really nice. Sexy. Oh, look at this. Yeah, very, very stylish anatomy on that. Oh, that's really cool. Kind of Kevin Nolan-ish. Okay, so we're at 21 minutes. I'll do like five more minutes of this, and then I gotta get to work. I gotta get to work, yo. So hopefully this is super fun. Something different. Oh man, again, great Batman. Look at that, wow, that shot is so nice, gosh. Look at that, man, dude, that is sick. Yeah, this, this dude is legit, man. He's a great cartoonist, he's a great comic book artist. I'd be, I'd be curious to know if he's ever had challenges in his career based on this style though. If like, if he's always gone like, man, I would love to do like, he would do a great Wolverine though. Could you imagine a Wolverine story with this guy? It would be ridiculous. I don't know why, well, I always, I'm fascinated with Wolverine. I think cause he's a little different than a lot of the superheroes at Marvel. So he's always been like someone that I kind of would love to take a crack at. Man, that's really nice. But yeah, I was like, like I had mentioned that I had reached out to Jay Lee one time and uh, we kind of played phone tag for a little bit, but I was really curious about how, how it was working in the style that he does and if he's ever felt limitations and stuff based on it. It was a private conversation, so I don't really go into it here, but, um, but he was nice enough to actually talk to me about it because I was telling him that kind of, I, I was, oh yeah, that is great. I was kind of worried that like, you know, stuff that's too dark, you know, might be kind of off-putting and like really limit you, but you know, you kind of got to go with your, your heart. Man, that is a great panel. Wow. Whew. Look at that. Great gesture there too. But uh, yeah. Is this fun? Are you digging it? I hope so. I am. I feel like I'm getting my learn on. And and being entertained. And I'm not just saying that. Man, that is awesome. That dude's face. <laughs> Man, that is great. I think he's currently doing a Batman book. I don't get the comps anymore, so I don't really see him. I'll have to look. If, if he's on social media, I should follow him. Man, that's awesome. But yeah, I'm telling you, we're, we are so, like, like we're hardly even through with this book. We've done maybe, maybe 25% of it. For 100 bucks, dude, you just cannot go wrong. Oh, and there's watercolor, watercolor stuff in here, too. Full color, it's killer. Like, color guides that he did. Let's see if we can get to them. We can always do more of this later, too. Let's go through that. That's nice, though, actually. Very, very cool sort of cliffhanger for that issue. Man, nice cover. He could have done 100 bullets. He's, he's good at mobsters. Yeah, Kelly Jones, man. You, you are great. If you ever watch this video, I'm a big fan. Been a big fan since uh, I started collecting. When I, when I saw your work, I was like, I like this guy. He was doing Batman or Detective back then. It was probably the, some of these issues, actually. But seeing him in black and white just brings him life. God, look at the illumination on that. Ooh, that is sick. Oh my God. That's so cool. Look at the inking that Beatty, Beatty did, too. So nice. Yeah, John Beatty. God, I like this. That, the connects. It's open there, too, if you look. 
like it opens and on the nose. But yeah, it's really nice. My cat is dying to get in the office. It's like, dude, come on. It's super fun Sunday. Let me in. I'll be cool. Man, that's a lot of black on that page. I'm assuming that these guys use rough board. I'm I'm gonna take a take a guess and say that I don't think that this is smooth. It could be, but um, the way that the, the ink lays down and the fact that, that I think that Beta used quite a bit of brush, um, a nice toothy board would really, really get some beautiful like matte blacks, which kind of look like this. Man, that is awesome. Holy cow. Dude. Wow. Boy, this guy was putting in work. That is insane. Gosh, I feel sorry for the inker. That's a lot of work. Of all that stuff outlined in there, oh my god. If he didn't have an assistant, dude, this took time. Time on time. Man, when I was thinking Chris Bacalo for the year or two that I did, his blacks would take forever. I had a page one time take like five hours to fill in the blacks. It was gnarly because, you know, there's just no fast way to do it. You know, you can either eat, fill them in as you're going along or you can do it at the end, but either way, man, that stuff's got to get filled in, and it's, like, tedious, and, man, it's just it's a time, time vacuum. This is a great page. Look at that, her taking off that mask. God. Wow. Really dramatic stuff, but so fun, too. He doesn't lose the fun and the art and the, and the darkness. It's just dynamic, dynamic stuff. God, man. Ah, look at that guy's hair. It's hysterical. That's really cool. It looks like that one actor. I can't think of his name, but this is nice too, dude. So he could definitely do like Batman Beyond or something like God dang, this dude is awesome. I'm so glad we did this. He could actually do Spider-Man. Looks like got a little bit of a Peter pa Peter Parker vibe. You'd have to pretty him up a little bit, but I think he could do it. This guy looks a little older than Peter Parker, but okay, we'll skip these. They're nice, but let's see. I'm trying to find some money shots. Oh, let's let's try to find a few of the watercolor pieces really quick. Let me just skip ahead a little bit. There's a cover. Oh god, I can't remember what that character's name is. Man, it's a nice cover though. I love the white on the top of the water. Then uh, it's got that kind of nice vintagey. Uh, rendering down there. Man, that's really cool. Reminds me of something like out of a video game. <laughs> like Resident Evil or something like that. Oh man, look at that. Dude, the monster is sick. Oh man, this book is so five stars. It's so good. It's so fun. Oh, look at Gordon. That's nice. Man, that's a great commission of Gordon. Again, that probably is an actor or a photo reference, but he fits it in pretty seamlessly, you know? I mean... And you know what? There's errors of his stuff where he used it a bit more. Man, that's great. Looks like Jorge Safino. Like he's got that hyena, psycho, kind of feral kind of face going on. Okay, where are the watercolor pieces? I don't know if there's some in here. Sorry, I'm just going to... Oh, here's some. Probably done a marker. Let's see. So here's a few. So... I, I, I'm guessing that there are color guides that, that he did himself. I don't know that for a fact. I, I don't have time in the video to actually check it out, but they're they're fun to see, and I mean it's a very nice addition. It's something a little bit different in this book that you don't get. And these could be watercolor, actually. Um, some of the blending looks like watercolor, actually. Man, that's nice. But uh, you know, these are just such fun books. They're so educational, and and I mean. I, I really, really have a difficult time going back to the regular comic books after I look at these. Not not even exaggerating on that, but they feel very small. The digital coloring kind of like sort of, um, you know, can sometimes sort of dull things down where you're not really getting to see the um, art and you know, a lot of the special effects and stuff that they use um, can kind of kind of take away from it a little bit. But uh, it's not a knock against color. I'm just saying that like when, when you get acclimated to looking at these these things, um, it, it can be tricky to go back to a small comic book, at the very least. Man, that's awesome. God, Batman is such a great character. 
it was interesting. I was talking to Scott Williams about that, and we both love Batman, and uh, think that like just the whole rogues gallery and stuff that he has is just amazing. So it's like he's just a really, really, really cool character and playground. Oh, that's interesting. So they did the character on the vellum. Interesting, man. Beautiful inks, man. Beatty, <clears throat> Beatty is great. It's so iconic. I mean, really, like, you see their work and you just know that it's them. And what do you say? You know who. That's how you want to be. You don't want to be the one where it's like, oh, this is interesting. So it's, wow, it's like three covers for one. Dude, that's sick. Look at the, the amount of, of detail that they go into for these books. Isn't that cool? You have three layers for this cover. Man, that's great inking right there. That's tough to do. He may have uh, outlined it and then gone in and filled in the blacks individually. I don't think that those are brush strokes. But again, you can tell looking at the paper, this has got to be like a rougher tooth board. Because, man, his blacks just go down like velvet. I'm trying to get this done. Page is like hard to turn. Let me set the phone down for a sec so I can get it. It's like, I'm going to bend the page. Okay, and then here's the last thing. Wow, that's actually pretty arty. On its own. Let me try to get the focus. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's why I was. I hate like trying to shift the distance. Man, that's great. I'm gonna pull back a little bit so I can see the full read. So that's that silhouette of the Batman figure. Very, very cool. Oh, look at that. Killer Croc. And then look at this cover. Wait, get ready. Get ready for it. You're not ready, I promise you. Watch, look. He looks like a monkey. That's not a very scary gargoyle. I like that. Man, look at his signature white there. Kelly Jones. Dude, you are awesome. <laughs> Man, his cape is so wild. Oh my gosh. Really, really cool. Yep, this guy's stud muffin. Okay. I like that. Look at that coming out of the panel border. I like that. Almost looks like Poison Ivy is going to show up or something. Oh, look at that. That's nice, too. Isn't this cool? You know, what I liked about this, too, is when, when I saw the YouTube video of the guy sort of, like, showing the book, um, there were so many different things and textures and characters and stuff in this book. It just totally, like, I knew it was going to cover a million bases for me and really just be something super duper fun to look at. And, and it is. You know, that's the thing is my enjoyment and we're still not even halfway through with this book believe it or not talk about bang for your buck i mean this thing is off the charts man that's so awesome here let's just we'll just do some random clips now oh look at that crocodile or an alligator i shot a batman right there oh look at this wow dude really cool how he shifted the again the level black so this is probably a swamp thing, I'm guessing. That's nice too. But again, do you see how consistent his style is? It's what they were preaching in Framed Ink. Look at that. Gosh. This dude has his language down. That's nice. Boy, this guy is like a national treasure, I'm telling you. A fantastic artist. Really, really impressive stuff. Oh, look at this. Dude, God, man. What a page. Like, the people that own these originals are so stoked. Look at that. And in a way, when you get these books, you feel a little bit of a part of that because you have scans off the original art. So even though you didn't have to drop, you know, a thousand bucks on this, you still get the love. Oh, that's interesting. So it's like kind of graphite in the background of that, if you can see. Works nice, though. Looks good. I like I like that bird. So simple, but really nice. Yeah. Kelly Jones. Dude, bringing it. Wow, this is really, really neat. What a great book. Ca -ca. Oh, he says craw. I was just guessing. That's nice too. It's kind of got a Scooby Doo vibe. <laughs> I don't know why. That's nice. Oh my god. To fill in the blacks on this stuff would be a nightmare. <laughs> I wonder if John Beatty had an assistant. If he didn't, dude, this guy was working. 
he was working hard. Oh man, look at the bricks. Kiss 90 minutes of your life goodbye. <laughs> the, the people that work digitally know. They know how good they've got it. <laughs> Use the paint bucket and just drop that stuff in. Call them the bricks. <laughs> You're done. But you don't have an original at the end of the day. So, okay, this is good.